Good day, viewers. Our topic is about on how to write rational function to represent real life situation. A rational function is a function of the form f of x equals p of x over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not the zero function the domain of the f of x is the set of all values of x where q of x not equal to zero okay so example suppose that the c of t equals 5t over t squared plus 1 in milligram per ml represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream t hours after the drug was administered. Construct a table of values for c of t for t equals 0, 1, 2, 5, and 10. Round off answers to three decimal places. Use the table to sketch a graph and interpret the result. Okay, so our T is 0, 1, 2, 5, 10. So at T equals 0. So, C of T equals 5 times 0 over 0 squared plus 1 and that is equals to 0. Okay. At T equals 1. So, C of T equals 5 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1 equals 5 over 2 equals 2.5 at t equals 2 so c of t equals 5 times 2 over 2 squared plus 1 equals 10 over 4 plus 1 and equals to 10 over 2 and equals to 2 Okay, so at t equals 5. So c of t equals 5 times 5 equal over 5 squared plus 1 equals 25 over 25 plus 1 equals 25 over 26. Then you divide 25 by 26 and the answer is 0 0.9615386 but the problem required us to round off the answer into two decimal places so our answer approximately 0 0.962 okay at t equals 10 so c of t equals 5 times 10 over 10 squared plus 1 equals 5 50 rather 50 over 100 plus 1 and that is equal to 50 over 101 and divide 50 by 101 and the answer is 0 0.495 zero four nine five and run up into three decimal places then approximately the answer is zero point four nine five okay so this is now our table of values if our t is zero our c of t is zero if t is one our c of t is two point five if 
T is 2, the C of T is 2. If T is 5, the C of T is 0 0.962. If T is 10, the C of T equals 0 0.495. Okay, this is our interpretation. The graph indicates that the maximum drug concentration occurs around one hour after the drug was administered. After one hour, the graph suggests that the drug, uh, rather than the graph suggests that the drug concentration decreases until it is almost zero. Okay, example number two. The distance from Iligan City to Hinuog City is around 250 kilometers. How long will it take you to get the Hinuog City a pure average speed is 25 kilometers per hour 40 kilometers per hour and 50 kilometers per hour okay then the formula to compute the distance is d equals rate or speed times the time then uh, to, to compute the time so T equals distance over rate or speed. Okay, so this is now our solution. Okay, at D or distance equals 250 kilometer, then our rate or speed equals 20, uh, 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, so T equals 250 over 25 and equals 10 hours. So meaning you arrive 10 hours you arrive at Hingoog City. Okay. Next at distance equals 250 kilometers then the rate or the speed is 40 kilometers. Okay. So T equals 250 over 40 and equals 6.25 hours then we convert the 0 0.25 hours into minutes okay, 0 0.25 hours times 60 minutes per hour and the answer is 15 minutes so meaning a 0 0.25 hours equivalent of 15 minutes so our answer 6 hours and 15 minutes you arrive at Hingoog City okay next a distance of 250 kilometers and the rate or speed is 50 kilometers per hour T equals 250 over 50 equals 5 hours so 5 hours you arrive at Hingoog City.